What's up guys? We're gonna take another look at a workshop tutorial. This time we're gonna open a preset made workshop from Blizzard and we're gonna take a look at the code. So what's really nice um, with the workshop is that Blizzard have pre-made a handful of their own uh, game modes that you can go through, look at the rule sets and figure out why something is happening. So simply to access that, go on to the, uh, go on to Overwatch where you have the workshop. At the moment, it's still currently on the PTR. Go game browser, create, and then you want to go to settings after that. So uh, top left, you have presets. If you scroll down on the left-hand side, you'll see workshop examples. I'm just going to get rid of the webcam for now so you can see behind. So we're going to take a look at Molten Floor. This is a very, very basic, very easy to understand workshop. Uh, but since we're at the very beginning of the workshop tutorials uh, on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at this one. So Molten Floor is the floor is lava. You touch the floor, you take damage. And as soon as you're off the floor, you don't take damage. So we're going to click that. Uh, and then we're going to apply the preset that basically allows you to take a look at the code for Molten Floor. So just go back and workshop. So this is super easy. Only two rules are needed for this. First rule, if you're on the ground, you start burning. Second rule, if you're off the ground, you stop burning. Magical. So we're going to take uh, a look at the first one. So we're going to drop this down. A few things to note here. So the event at the top here is ongoing each player. Now this basically means uh, and needs to be active if somebody uh, is going to be taking damage, if somebody's going to be changing status. So status is if you're frozen or burning, um, if you're being teleported, anything that happens to the player directly. Now if you were to be on ongoing global, this wouldn't actually work. So ongoing global is the world around the player. So the timer, um, so the timer that's ticking down, the, ra the round you're on, everything that is not something happening physically really inside the game. So ongoing each player, team all, player all. So you can specifically select one team if you want to be mean or one single hero um, to be affected by this. But right now this is happening to everybody. One condition must be met for two actions to happen. So the condition here, very simple, is on the ground event player. So the event player is the person who's taking that action. Um, so you playing or somebody else playing is true. So is the player on the ground true? Then these two actions will happen. The first action is set status. So the status of somebody uh, is basically a crowd control ability. So are they hacked? Are they burning? Are they knocked down? Asleep, frozen, unkillable, invincible, phased out, rooted, stunned. All of these are different statuses of the player. So right now the status for this is burning. Uh, so the assister is giving credit to somebody who may have assisted in the freezing or the kill. So right now, because this is literally the world burning you, it's the floor. The assister is going to be null because it's it's not going to nobody needs to be credited for this. And then you have status and duration underneath that. So if I just move my frame a little bit so you can have a look. So status is burning. So that's uh, what's happening to the player. The duration of how long you're burning for, which is 10,000. Um, so this number basically is a number to go on forever because as, uh, as long as you're on the floor, on the ground, you're always going to be burning. Okay. So what's happened now is We've set it so you're burning, but you're not actually currently taking damage. So the second action is so that you actually ta start taking damage. So the action is start damage over time. So what this means is you are, it's not like a big burst of damage that's happening. It's going to be damage, which is continually happening over a period of time. And the duration for this, so this is going to be event player happening to you. The damager is the, you know, instead of the assistant, it's a damager, it's null because nobody's getting credit for this. The duration of how long you're taking damage over time is almost an infinite number as well. You're you're going to be dead by the time it hits 9,999. And the damage per second you are going to be taking is 30. So if you're on the floor, you're going to start being on fire and you're going to start taking 30 damage per second. So these two actions are now complete. This basically means if you're on the floor, is true yes you're on the floor you are going to start burning and you're going to start taking 30 damage per second over time very simple first rule is now complete second rule again event is ongoing each player because it's affecting the players directly and then you have team event team and player happening to everybody conditions so the conditions for this one are the opposite is the player um it is on ground so this is uh players which are on uh on the ground or other walkable surfaces, event player equals false. So if this does not, um, if this isn't true, so you aren't on the ground, then clear status. So clear status basically revokes um, if you're asleep or if you're burning, just gets rid of that that effect, that um, state uh, of uh, of how you are, and then 
to follow up from that, the last action here is stop all damage over time and to the to the players. So this means that if you are taking damage, that's just going to stop um, as soon as you get into the sky or into the air or wherever you are. So good players for this, Farah, Lucio, anything that can stay off the ground. Um, so let's just go into a quick game and we can just see how this actually happens. So we know what's going on. Uh, so we'll play take Farah for now. So inside the spawn rooms, you can't die anyway. So as soon as you come out of the spawn room, you see that my health in the bottom left is taking 30 damage per second. If we go back into the uh, spawn room and heal up. So as soon as I'm off the ground, then I'm good. I'm not taking any damage. Go to the floor, stop burning. Floor is lava, floor is lava. Drop on again. Uh, it's a really simple, very cool, very basic game mode that was uh, people were trying to create on... Uh, on custom games anyway, so this workshop has allowed it to become an actual reality where you will start taking damage if you're on the floor. Uh, so there, it's basically as simple as that. You can open the workshop editor in here uh, and take a look at the, the code. Um, so for example, if I want to change this from burning, if I would want people to be um, asleep if they're on the floor, probably not the best one because when you're asleep, you actually can't get back up again. Um, so if I want you to be hacked, for example, on the floor, so let me just uh, restart this match. So what will happen now is if I'm on the floor, the I am going to be I'm going to be hacked. So you can see on the sides right now I'm hacked. So if I Oh, actually, I can't. Do you know what? I didn't plan this. I forgot. When I'm hacked, I can't actually fly. So I'm still taking damage. I'm hacked, but I'm still taking damage. And I can't use my abilities. So technically speaking, Everybody's gonna die because you're on the floor. I can't fly did not account for this see this is the YouTube video is not scripted But there's an example of something that you can change and have a little play around with you can play around with uh, um, If you're knocked down and um, so you can be constantly knocked down So a lot of these the best one it's gonna work with this is probably burning because it's more just an effect uh, than anything else uh, Start damage over time you can change the damage over time to be higher or lower um, and then you can start tweaking things to your liking, but that's basically it. That's basically it my friends That's the uh, the preset workshop Tutorial breakdown for the molten floor. Let me know if you've enjoyed this one I was gonna do a more complex one this time around I was gonna do the zombies one which I understand but I felt like it might be a little bit difficult to go straight into now I feel like we'll go up gradually in order uh, and get this to go a bit more difficult and a bit more difficult Let me know if you've enjoyed this workshop tutorial in the the comments below um, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Going to be doing my placements today for season... Is it 16? Damn, son. Season 16 is going to be out. Um, placements for that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I think these workshop tutorials are really good. I feel like it's more content for me to put onto the channel. And I look forward to having you back on another video. Have a good one, guys.